Hi there, I'm Mike Knup, co-founder of Zapier, and today I'm excited to give you a demo of our new AI bots inside of Zapier Central. AI bots are similar to chatbots, but you can equip them with the 6,000 plus integrations on Zapier, and they can do work on your behalf even when you're away from your desk or you have Central closed, these bots are able to follow your instructions in the background and do useful work for you. I've got a use case in mind I want to show off, this idea of a manager bot. We use Slack at Zapier, and I'd love it if I could have a bot uh, watch all the messages that I save in Slack and log into them, log them somewhere and remember them. And then come performance review time, I'd love to be able to talk with this bot live and have it summarize that feedback, maybe even match it against our internal operating principles uh, and help me deliver sort of higher quality, better feedback to my team when we're doing performance assessments. So let's uh, let's take a look at what this looks like. I've got a blank state bot here, it's brand new. Um, you know, if I tell it hello, it's not customized in any way, so it's just gonna, you know, tell me hello back and ask me what I wanna do. And it's just using sort of out of the box capabilities, like teaching you how to use the bot system. Um, but we've got two things that I wanna emphasize here. We've got behaviors and we've got data sources. So behaviors are this idea of customizing either how the bot talks to you or customizing how the bot runs in the background. Then we've got data sources, which is equipping them with any third-party data on Zapier, and we can give them sort of grounded context to answer um, our questions or use it when um, running actions as well. So we're going to start with creating behavior, and I'm going to do the first part of this, which is when I save a Slack message, add it to my Google Sheet. Uh, what's, it, what's the name of it? Manager bot. We'll say sheet one. Use columns timestamp channel, user, and text. We'll even leave the typo in there, it doesn't matter. Um, you can see over here, I've got a Google Sheet with those columns set up. Um, so we're gonna use the Slack new message save trigger suggest set, which is exactly what I want. We'll go in here. All I need to do is choose the auth I wanna use in Slack, which is this one, and I'll go ahead and add that. And then down here, we have available actions. So the concept behind available actions is that you can add multiple available actions for the bot to choose from when it's following your instructions or when you're talking to it. So we're just gonna add one available action, which is this uh, create script or cheat row is auto-suggested. Now, if you're familiar with Zapier, you may know the concept of mapping fields and configuring your set, your actions and getting them all set up exactly right. And it's quite an iterative process, it's quite tricky. One of the cool things with AI bots and Central is that it guesses and figures it all out for you directly from the natural language instructions. You can see that it correctly guessed manager bot in sheet one. And here's the really cool part, here's the columns. By default, all of these columns in any field generally for actions um, will have the AI guess at runtime. So when the bot is actually trying to figure out what to do, it will dynamically figure out which text to put into which columns based on my instructions without me having to lift a finger. We'll go ahead and add that uh, and we can turn it on and we are set to try and give this a try. I've got my Slack test account over here and I, let's say I had this like sort of sta daily stand a message that someone on my team sent and this is a really good one. You know, I want to remember this one for the future. Maybe it represents something really good about sort of default to transparency in our build principles. So I'm going to bookmark it and this will trigger that bot in the background to follow my instructions. Um, this will take a minute. So while we're waiting for that to trigger, I want to show the testing flow. So when you're setting an instruction, you can click this test behavior button. And this will show sort of in the foreground what it's like to talk to one of these bots and actually see it thinking out loud. It used a sample Slack message just from John.dev, this fake person. Um, and you can see it automatically figured out, oh, all right, I should use the Google Sheets action and correctly calls it. It, has, it fills out the instructions correctly. And if we flip over here to the spreadsheet, you can see it added it. And it even sort of gives you a written log and a ref self-reflection over like what it did and why it did and how it was interpreting your instructions you put in to sort of fill out each of the fields, which is, I think is really, really cool and helpful for debugging when the bots don't quite do exactly what you want. You can get into sort of a, a loop with them to update the instructions and try again and it can work. So we'll give one more minute for that sort of background uh, behavior that we just triggered over here in Slack to run. Um, while we're doing that, I'll go ahead and show the second part, which is adding data sources. So we're gonna add that same Google sheet, we're gonna add it as a data source. So we'll choose it here and go ahead and add it. And we've got it synced over here automatically. Um, in this sheet, I have, of course, the first tab, which is the one we're adding to, but I also have a few more positive messages I saved from earlier from Anna Marie on our team. And, uh, you know, as a manager, I wanna be able to map up these messages, I wanna get summaries of them, and I wanna map them against our, our build principles. And I wanna be able to talk to the bot to get that out. So let's see what that can look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more behavior. And I'm gonna use a special trigger, which is a built-in trigger available for all behaviors for all bots, which is when I message the bot. And what this does is it's gonna allow us to customize how does the bot actually talk to us? What does it do when we're actually like sending it messages? 
So in this case, let's say um, you are a performance review assistant, but um, when you get a message, uh, look up all the positive messages in the Google Sheet. I don't even need to give the name because I've only attached that one sheet, so this should be enough. And summarize all the messages. Also, map the messages to our build operating principles and give a review. And let's give that a go. And then I'm going to go out here and say build principles. This was really cool. So over here on this tab, this is Zapier's uh, in internal intranet where we publish our build operating principles for our product and engineering and design organizations. And I'm just going to copy, I'm just going to copy all of this stuff uh, all the way down here. So lots of delight customers, own the outcome, move forward fast, lots of good stuff. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. And we're just going to dump it right into this big old text box. And uh, we'll just see what happens. So we'll turn this on and we're all set. Now we can ask this bot questions and query against it um, live. Let's go check back in one more time and see if our uh, background activity ran with our Slack. And yes, it did. So we saw one test one we did live and there's the background activity. And if we switch over, did it work? There it did. There's the message in Slack that uh, came through. All right, now let's show off the um, live summarization bit. So I'll say, hey, can you give me a summary? And we will let the uh, bot process this and generate our reply. Okay, we'll give it one more second to generate. And we can show off the cool threading behavior and how these bots reply when you send messages. We can click um, the reply here and our thread flies out. And we can see the bot went ahead and retrieved our uh, data from our Google Sheet and generated a reply. That's mapping up and ready to our build operating principles. This is a pretty good, you know, it's fairly kind of, um, it does summarize a little bit, uh, but I feel like it's missing citations. I really wish it would have used examples in this. Um, let's go back and add some. So what we're gonna do, we'll go close this and we'll go back into our um, positive view assistant behavior. And let's add a little bit more and say, make sure you list specific examples from the messages. All right, we'll do that. Come back here and say, um, please give me another summary. And we'll let this bot try one more time. All right, we'll go and open, click this button. We can open up the thread and see our bot typing out our message. So we got the summary here and mapping to our build principles and using our specific examples here from uh, the message that we sent. So that is a look at using um, Zapier's new AI bots inside of Central and being able to build these bots entirely through natural language and steer and guide and feedback them uh, without really ever having to dive into any sort of Canvas UI. Um, we're hopeful that these AI bots play a really important role in how you grow and build and run your teams, your companies in the future. We'd be excited for you to give it a try and give us your feedback. Thank you.